The double row and column elimination technique is not an X-wing. I have spoken with a few people who have implied that they are the same, and I've also seen comments on this channel implying that. X-wings and double elimination, although, although they're related, are two different things and they have different uses. Double elimination, as its name implies, is used to eliminate rows or columns. X-wings are used to remove candidates. In this video I'm going to compare and contrast these two techniques. I'll probably do a video soon about X-wings too. This is puzzle number 90 from Sudoku to Go volume 132 by Soap Opera Digest. Now, right at the beginning, we have an example of double row and column elimination. We have a 3 here, which constrains the 3 to one of these two cells. And these two cells are in columns 7 and 8 in box 3. Now, if we look at box 9, we've got a 3 here and a 3 here already in rows 7 and 9, which constrains the 3 in box 9 to this cell or this cell. This eliminates these two columns for box 6, and that means that a 3 can't fit anywhere in column 7 or 8. So the 3 has to fit here or here in column 9 in box 6. Now notice the pattern that we, we created when we, when we found this double row and column el elimination. We have a 3 here and a 3 here. A 3 here and a 3 here. Now an X-wing requires that you have a square or a rectangle um, as the pattern when you find the four, the four digits or the four numbers. In this case we do not have a square or a rectangle. So we can't, so this is not an X-wing. Now later on I'm going to show you another example of a double row and column elimination that will be, um, could also be used as an X-wing. So another thing I want to point out here is we have a, have a 2 here and a 2 here, and we know the 3 is constrained to one of these two cells here, so we have two 3 twins here. We've also got a 6 here and a 6 here, so that is a 6 right there. So we have two three twins here and seven nine twins here. We'll keep those in mind as we go. All right, now we're going to, um, we can probably fill in all the sixes here. So I'm gonna, there's a six right there, six, six, six. And we got a six and a six there, and six there, so that's a six. Six, six. So that's a 6 right there, and we've got 6 and 6 there, 6, 6, so that's a 6 right there. And that finishes the 6s for this puzzle. We've also got a 4 here and a 4 here, so that's a 4. And 7 and a 7, so that's a 7 right there. Now if I do or say anything during this video that you don't understand, please leave a comment and I'll try and answer any questions you have. All right. Now we have a T pattern in box 7 here. And all these patterns and techniques I'm talking about are, you can also find write-ups about them on uh, sudokuprimer.com. So you can go there and learn more about these techniques. We have a T pattern right here with a 4 right in the middle, so we know these are ghost 4s right here. We've got a 4 um, a four here and a 4 here. So one of these is a 4, and this can't be a 4 because of the ghost 4s there. And now we have ghost 4s there, a 4 there, and so we know that is a 4. Right, now we can do 4, 4, 4 right there. And we've got 
four, four. So that's a four right there. And we can fill in this four now because of that four. Now we've only got two numbers left in columns column one here. And there's a and that's a one or a three one and three. There's a three there, so we can fill those in. All right. Now if you remember we had seven nine twins here. We have a one and a three in row nine already, so we know these are one three twins here. We have seven nine twins there, so there's only one number left there, and that's an eight. All right. And now with this seven, we have three seven twins here. If you remember our three from the beginning with our double row eliminate or double column elimination we used here to find this three. So that means three seven here, so we have five and five eight twins here. We've got an eight there, so we can fill those in. All right, and now we have a situation where we have another uh, double column elimination that we can use. We have an eight here and an eight here, so one of these cells is an eight. We also have an eight here, and we have ghost eights here. So one of these cells is an 8. So in this case, we have a situation where we can use double column elimination again. And it's also an X-wing. I'll look at the double column elimination first. With an 8 here or here and an 8 here or here, we know that in the middle box, in box 5, an 8 has to be in column 5. Because these are 4 and 6. So an 8 has to be here or here. We have an 8 there, so we can fill in an 8 right there. I'm not going to put it in yet because I want to show you the X-Wing example also. Now in an X-Wing example, or with if we use this as an X-Wing, we know that we can only have an 8 uh, in one of two places in, row, in this row, in row 8 because there's an 8 here, so we can't have an 8 here or here. So we can have an 8 in one of these two places. Up here is the same. We can have an 8 here or here, but we can't have an 8 here because of this 8. So with this X-wing, we only have two 8s in the rows, so that means we can eliminate all of the 8s in the columns. Well, this can't have an 8 in this in this um, column anyway. Now, well, okay, now we're looking at column four and six here. Because we've got an eight here or here and an eight here or here. This can't be an eight, but one of these one of these three can be an eight. And this could be an eight if we didn't uh, use double column elimination. So in box five, an eight can be here, 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 or here. And in box 2, it can be here or here. And in box 8, it can be here or here. Now, so the X-wing example, we can't eliminate any more 8s from these rows, but we can eliminate all the 8s from these columns except for these. So that eliminates this 8, this 8, and this 8 as candidates and leaves just one place for an 8 there. So in this example, we could use this as a double column elimination, or we can use it as an X-wing. And there, that is what I mean by the uh, um, <clears throat> X-wings and double row and column elimination are related, but they're different. With double row and column elimination, we look to eliminate two of the columns. And we only have one column left and one place for an 8. If we see this as an X-wing, what we do is we eliminate candidates. So we eliminate these three candidate 8s here. So, so that's a good example of when a, you can use either of the two techniques. All right, now with this 8 here, we can fill in some more 8s. There's an 8 there. And we 
have an 8 here. So now we have 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, and 8, 8, 8. The only ones we have left now are the, the four 8 candidates we found earlier. All right, now let's look at this column right here. Um, we have a 3 here, so that can't be a 3. We have a 3 here and a 3 here, so that's the only place a 3 can go. So let's fill that in. And with this 3, we can fill in the 3 7 twins we found earlier. And we can fill in the 1 3 twins. All right, now we have a two in this column already, so we know that's a two. Okay, let's see if we can fill in any other twos. We have the two three twins here. We've got a two here. So one of these places can be a two. But look at this, we've got a three here and a three here, so one of these has to be a three. We have two three twins here, so if we use unique rectangles, we know that since these are two three twins and one of these has to be a three, we know a two can't fit here or here. So we know this is a two. Now if you're not familiar with that technique, go to sudokuprimer.com and look up the ambiguity rule and you'll learn about um, that rule or unique rectangles, which which is often called. And that's how we found that's how we eliminated these two places for a two using that rule. And now with that, we know this is a two and that's a three, and we know we also know that's a three. All right, now with this two here, we got a two there and two there, so we know that's a two. And we got a two here and a two here, so we know this is a two. All right, now we've got one and nine missing here, one nine twins and one nine twins here. Don't see any ones or nines along here, but uh, we do have one five twins here, so we know that can't be a one. We also have five nine twins here, so we know that can't be a nine. So we can fill those in, one and nine there, and a one there. And then with that nine, we can fill in this nine right there. All right, now let's see. Okay, let's look at row 9 here. We, what, what we know about these three boxes here, we got five nine twins there, we have seven nine twins there. This, this box we're missing five numbers, but let's look at row 9. Let's see what we're missing. Five, seven, and nine. So this is a seven or a nine. There's a five there, so that's seven or nine. So with these seven nine twins, we know that's a five. And of course, with that five, we can fill in that nine. And then with that, we can fill in the seven and nine here. And we've got a seven left over for row nine there. Now we're only missing one number here. That's a nine. All right. Let's see what we're missing here. We have a, these are our eights here. We have seven and eight missing there, and eight and nine missing there. We can f fill in the eight and nines here because of that nine, and that helps us fill finish the seven eight twins here. All right, now we're missing one and five here. We got a one there. So we can finish that. And we're missing a five and a seven there. So we can finish those. All 
Right, this number is a loner cell. So let's see what that is. We got a 416 here. 46, so that's a 1 right there. <clears throat> now we're missing 5, 7, and 9 in this in this box here. 5 and 7 there, so that's a 9. There's a 7, so that's a 5, and that's a 7. And now we're just missing 1 and 5 here. And that's it. We're done. All right. Well, I hope this video has helped you understand the difference between X-wings and double row and column elimination. Uh, so they're related, but they're different. Uh, they have different purposes, um, but sometimes, as in our second example, you could use either one, either double row and column elimination or X-wings. So I hope that helped. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.